Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Look who I have in the kitchen. Hey! It helps to have the other one in the kitchen when you're doing it dinner with the two of us, right? Well, Arizona made me sick. <laughs> yeah, we did a vacation and then uh, came back and he was sick for a whole week. I mean, it took a while for him to get over this. I am so happy to have him in the kitchen. This is a dinner with the two of us and we are making many pizzas. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Thomas is gonna get started with the sausage. What are you using? Jimmy Dean, regular. You could use spicy if you wanted to. You could even use the sage. I like the sage sausage for like if you're making sausage gravy for over biscuits and eggs. Yeah. That's really good. He's gonna get started with that. We're gonna cook about half of that. Yeah, I don't think we need the full thing. It's right. just you and me. These are individual pizzas, yeah. We are using tortillas, flour. These are just the standard size tortillas. If y'all have never baked a tortilla in the oven like a pizza, you need to stick around, see how we put this one together and bake it. Because I'm telling you what, the different textures that come from this, it'll be nice and fluffy, nice and crispy on the outsides. Oh, the perfect pizza crust. You don't have to roll out dough, have excess dough or anything like that. These are perfect. You know, less calories than pizza dough. Yep. And two, two is enough. Yeah. So he's gonna brown up the sausage. I'm gonna give it some flavor and some, another layer of texture that we like on a pizza and that is peppers and onions. Now we didn't have a bell pepper, but we do have sweet, sweet peppers. peppers. <laughs> and I like sweet peppers. Yeah. They're sweet like me. Did y'all miss him in the kitchen? You know you did. <laughs> Now, I've washed these off. I'm going to take out the insides and then just chop these up and we'll add it to the sausage as it's cooking. I hear it right now. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. not much to clean out of a mini sweet peppers. Yeah, you can just eat them as is. You can. I do. You can. They're snacking peppers also. If you get some laughing cow cheese and put them on the inside and eat that. I've never really seen good. a laughing cow. <laughs> wonder how they get that cheese. How do they? Now, while I'm chopping these up, I'm also going to chop up a yellow onion, or you could use a red onion, a sweet onion, whatever you have. This is pretty big, so I'm going to go in probably about one quarter of this onion. Get that chopped up for you. All right, I'm just finishing chopping up these sweet peppers. I've already taken care of the onion. I'm going to add it, and then we're going to finish cooking up the sausage. We got a little pink left in it. We'll soften down the peppers and the onions cook up that sausage and then tell you where we went on vacation. All right, I'm gonna let Thomas explain to you while I get the cheese ready for our pizzas. What am I explaining? Our trip. So, oh. we went to Sedona, Arizona. Uh, we stayed at the Matterhorn Inn, which if you've never been, it's a really, really nice hotel. Excellent, excellent rooms, in my opinion. We basically just kind of stayed in Sedona and just kind of walked around the town. Uh, we did some hiking. You all right? You got it? Short people. I got it. <laughs> oh my God, it was way up there. Uh, we did hike uh, up in Flagstaff, which we usually don't do. The week before we were to leave, it was in the high 80s. And then when we got there, guess what? It was in the hundreds. So we did not hike in Sedona. We went up into Flagstaff and did some hikes there. We did the Fat Man's Trail. That was fun. Uh, we had to take it slower though, because that's uh, quite a high elevation for us Texans. So. Um, a little harder to breathe, but it was beautiful. I loved the hike. Do you like the hike? Yeah, I did like the hike. It was nice. And uh, really had a good time. Yep. Um, we went to uh, Winslow, Arizona, which is in between Albuquerque and Flagstaff. Because... <clears throat> uh, I go in, we stop at Albuquerque, 
for the night and then drive into Sedona on I-40. Um, oh, look at that cheese. Yeah, that's nice. So she wanted to go to Winslow, Arizona. So we went there. Yeah, I wanted to stand on the corner of Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> and they even have a flatbed Ford. I feel like if you there. know, you know. <laughs> if you don't, go look it up. Standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona. It'll tell you the story. All right, so what I'm doing right now is shredding up about eight ounces of mozzarella cheese and um, nice and fresh using my grater here. We got it. Now, if you're using this grater, I find that when you pull the cheese right out of the refrigerator and grate it, then it doesn't get all stuck and clumped up in your blade there. But if you leave it out and then you come and you, you start to it shred soft, it, yeah. it's, it's too late. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to work. All right, look, you're not going to be happy. Look at that cheese. All right, the sausage, peppers, and onions are done. So yep. we're going to turn that off. Y'all, we're going to start building a pizza. So let's go get our tortillas. Okay, we're going to bring you up here as we start building our individual tortilla pizzas and show you how we do it. Now, our tortillas are eight inches. That's a pretty standard size. We're gonna take some pizza sauce, any flavor you like or any brand you like. We like the Rayos. And I'm gonna take a spoon. I like sauce on my pizza. And I'm gonna pass this on to Thomas so he can do his. This one's mine and that one's Thomas's. She's saucy, I'm not so much saucy. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a brush. Y'all are going to learn a lot about me today, huh? And I'm just going to spread it around. Now, you don't want to have it too thick. because It'll be really wet. You don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to spread it kind of evenly. I want to go up on that edge. I'm an edge-to-edge -edge pizza person here. I like to put cheese on mine first. Is that what you, how you like to do it? Sure. Because it kind of holds everything onto your pizza. It's the glue. This was that delicious cheese that I grated. It's mozzarella. It's gonna melt really good because it doesn't have anything extra in it that you usually find in the packaged cheese. Oh, go ahead. Well, I'm waiting to see how much you're gonna use. I don't that. know, mine all of it. Cheese head. Yeah. Get it all the way up to the edges there. And I'm gonna get this sausage, the peppers and the onions. I'm gonna put that down on it. Ooh. I must have the jalapenos over here. I can smell them. Yeah, you do. I do. That's what's nice about making your own pizzas. You can make them any way you, you can want. You put them on mine. Too. Oh, you want me to do that? Okay. Pepperoni. Oh, well, I'm gonna have pepperoni on here too. Yep. We're gonna spin this so he can put pepperonis on mine. Y'all, let us know what you like on your pizzas. What you would put on your individual pizza here. Ours becomes like a supreme. All right. He's got the jalapenos. I'm going to be placing olives on mine. All right, that's what our pizzas look like. We've got the oven preheated at 425 degrees. We're going to place the pan in there, bake it. These cooked for 10 minutes. I'm going to show you all how crispy that is. Yeah, you heard it. We're going to let these sit for just a few seconds. I'm going to use my pizza cutter. Four slices. Oh, this is yours, huh? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Excellent. I would have almost had jalapeno on my mouth. <laughs> would have not been good. Oh, look at that. That's true cheese right there. Yep. All right, we're going to plate these up and give them a try for you. Here's our personal pizzas. Yum. Using tortillas. Yummy. Here's our bite. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's real good. I'm gonna need to make another. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the tortilla is nice and crispy. Mm-hmm. Fluffy on the inside, crispy along the edges. That's delicious. Holds up good too. Yeah, it holds up really well. See? Just like a pizza. Mm, that's good. That's good. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for coming and enjoying our show, Dinner with the Two of Us. I was so glad to get him back in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We do have another show that's kind of a Halloween show Yep. where he was in it. So that's coming up real soon. And he'll be joining me for more of the Dinner for Twos. Yep. All right, you guys, we'll see you all on the next episode. Bye. Later. <laughs>